there's no turning back. There are going to be substantial climate effects over the next 35 years. It's baked into the system. However, there are things that we can do that ameliorate some of those effects. But we have to act now. This is Ground Zero for innovation. This is a unique model around the country of a partnership uh, between a technology incubator and a city and a utility. You get world-class space, access to an incredible network of coaches, mentors, and advisors. We help introduce you to potential investors, and then we introduce you to some of our large industrial and institutional partners like the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, Southern California of. Edison, Southern California Gas, Metropolitan Water District, all of those major institutions are part of our ecosystem. This is our prototype of a new light. It's energy efficient, long lasting, and can do any uh, sort of color temperature changing. We're using the 3D printers, we're using the milling machines, all kinds of TV shows from Saturday Night Live to The Voice have already placed pre-orders for this product. Clean tech for Hollywood. Entrade is a German company and they essentially take old shipping containers and convert them into energy generation devices that can burn up to 125 different kinds of biomass. The city was very deliberate in locating the clean tech incubator in an area of the city that used to have a lot of manufacturing and a lot of jobs and as some of that has gone away, we really tried to um, find an anchor to try to build up some of those businesses. Uh -huh. The generation that's going to grow up and become the new civic leaders are going to come from the tech community. We have a lot of talent. Combine that with great public policy. I can only see that Los Angeles, California, and the West Coast will only get stronger. Here in California, we're quintessentially American. We're innovative, we're diverse. We became the fifth largest economy in the world. And that's at the same time that we are combating climate change, improving our air quality, improving our public transportation. And so if people think that that comes at the cost of jobs, come to California. I've always said the power exists in the cities. We are the ones who own the power plants many times. We are the ones who control the building codes. And that's really where we're gonna make uh, the difference when it comes to climate change. So to those who feel depressed, you got a lot of power and act locally. Look to your cities and learn and scale that up across the nation. We're creating the future here. We're creating our future economy. We're creating a more sustainable future for Los Angeles, really cementing Los Angeles and California's leadership on sustainability. We're trying to advance technologies that reduce the harm that people will have in the future and to protect their health, protect the environment. I don't see us as rebellious. I kind of see us as the, the keeper of the flame.